guys, today I have a fun video for you because I'm going to share with you a haul for the Maxmore Autumn Collection. I know it is still summer and it is still hot out, well at least it is here, but I wanted to share this with you guys as soon as I could because I know that their stuff tends to sell down in a lot of sizes really quickly. Um, some things will even just sell out. So I wanted to make sure that you still had an opportunity to get something if anything catches your eye. But um, I really like this brand Maxmora because it's just really comfortable and wearable. Um, and this is probably the brand that I dress Riley in the most, just for like everyday wear. Um, but at the same time, the styles are cute and eye-catching. Um, I like that they're really like dressing kids like kids kind of a style. Um, it is a Scandinavian brand. I like Scandi style quite a lot. So anyway, I'm going to get right into the pieces that I got her. So starting off, I got this really cute horse chestnut print. And I got this both in the dress and the leggings because when I saw it, this was like the first piece that I knew I had to get for Riley. Um, every fall, well, I say every fall, she's only three and a half. Last fall, we collected Conkers and Riley loved that. It's like a thing in the UK. Um, they come off the horse chestnut tree and basically they're like green spiky balls and you break into them and you get like a chestnut out of it. It's not the same as chestnuts that you can eat, but they look exactly the same. Um, and Riley has saved all of her conkers from last year and she still plays with them regularly in just like loose parts play. Um, yeah, so I had to get this for her. She's really looking forward to collecting them again this year because you can already see them on the trees. Um, yeah, so they've already started growing. So that's the first thing that I got. Um, next, I got this sea otter dress and I've got these gray sweatpants which coordinate with it really well. Um, so that's another really fun dress. And then this is not last, but this is last that I have to show you here right now is this uh, Ruby Rowan Berry spin dress. Oh, I didn't say. So this dress, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically, it's an A-line and it's got pockets and Riley loves pockets. What child doesn't love pockets? I'm 35 years old, 35, 36. How old am I? Am I 36? I'm 36 years old. I love pockets. Um, that's really sad that I had to think about that. But anyway, this is another spin dress, like the first one that I showed. Um, and I just had to get this one as well because I know Riley loves red. It's her favorite color and she loves pink as well. Um, so I just needed to get this one, even though I do realize it's quite similar to this. I know Riley will enjoy and love wearing both of them. So I really couldn't decide between the two. Um, and lastly, I'm just going to insert some footage because I have one more dress and pair of leggings that I got from the Maxmore Autumn Collection, but Riley's currently wearing them. So I filmed that earlier because I already filmed this video and it was 20 minutes long and I just thought that is way too long for a clothing haul with just a few pieces of clothing. What, oh, mommy? Hi, Riley, come. Come, I want to show everybody your beautiful outfit. You've got some blackberry stains on it. We went blackberry picking, so she's got a few stains. But I just want everybody to see your pretty, pretty dress. So this is a balloon dress. And what's on your dress, Riley? Pine cones. Pine cones. Anything else? Trees. Trees and, squirrels. and squirrels. So this is the busy squirrel print from Maximora. And it's, um, it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't think straight because she's wiggling around on me. Anyway, the um, the squirrels look quite a bit like foxes, <laughs> but um, I had to get this print anyway because Riley loves pine cones. It's the dress that she had to put on right away when we got it. I actually really, really, really wanted to get her into this outfit, but she really wanted to wear the pine cones because you love pine cones? Yeah. Yeah. trousers to go with my dress. Yes, you have matching trousers to go with your dress. Can I play now? Yes, you can go play. Thanks for coming and being a part of the video. I love you. 
no response. Right, so that was everything that I got, and I just want to show you really quickly how this all mixes and matches because um, like any brand, if you stick within a brand, they're going to do a color story for their collection. And my goal with um, buying quite a lot of pieces out of this one collection and sticking with this one brand is I'm hoping that I'll be really good and I won't need to buy too much more for Riley to wear this autumn, winter, spring. Because in England, the way the weather here is, um, these clothes will last her those three seasons. Um, and the way these are sized, they'll fit her. Um, they'll definitely fit her through the spring, basically until she needs summer clothes again. Because um, if you look behind me, she's got some long sleeve stuff, but this is all stuff that she's growing out of. Um, she can just get away with wearing it right now, but it doesn't really, like it, they're, these dresses are getting short for sure. Um, and then behind me, it's all short sleeve stuff, which is like summer wear. So she does need new fall clothes. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you how these mix and match so I can actually get quite a lot of outfits just out of these few pieces. And I am going to, I am planning on buying a couple more pieces because once I've seen these in person, I kind of know what I wanna get to kind of finish it off. So I'll just show you real quick. So you can wear, like I said, the sea otter pants with these gray sweatpants underneath. But you can also wear these same gray sweatpants with um, this Ruby Rowan Berry dress. And they coordinate with this um, Conqueror's dress. So, oh, and it coordinates with the last dress that Riley is currently wearing, the one with the squirrels and the pine cones on it. Um, so it's nice that these go with everything because these are a bit thicker and heavier. So like our act, like our absolute coldest days, she can still wear these dresses, um, and this will keep her warm enough to wear it. It doesn't get super super cold here though, um, or at least not compared to what I'm used to in the U.S. Um, obviously the Conker's trousers she can wear with the dress for like a little head to toe print. Um, I love that look. Um, not everybody will like that. Some people would prefer this with a solid bottom, but I love the look of the prints on print. Speaking of prints on print, so you could also even wear this underneath. And this is like a clashing, but not clashing kind of a look. It's very clashy, but because it's in the same color family, um, or same color story, I mean, it kind of works. So that's like a fun look if you like to uh, really mismatch kind of prints in a way that works. And then, um, so the trousers or the leggings that Riley's currently wearing, they're um, that brown color, and that actually matches back to this dress. It matches back to this dress because it's the same color that's in the branches and it matches back to the um, conquer dress or the horse chestnut dress. So everything kind of goes together. So all I want to do is basically I've got four dresses here and Riley basically wears dresses like all the time. She loves dresses. She loves spinning around in them and twirling. That's just kind of like her style. So I do want to get Riley a couple of long sleeve shirts to wear back with all of these leggings. And what I'm thinking is that they do make um, a solid t-shirt or long sleeve shirt in this color here. This is called soft teal. Um, so I think I'm going to get that because that will go back really nicely to um, these leggings. And she can also wear it with the, obviously she can wear it with the gray pants or the brown ones that she's already wearing. So that goes back basically to all of the leggings that she has in this collection and then I'm also thinking I probably really want to get the um they've got another print called the moose print I'll insert a picture so I think I really want to get that shirt because that shirt she can wear back with these thicker sweatpants as well as she can wear them with the brown leggings that she's already got so that'll leave me with um three pairs of leggings that match pretty much everything and four dresses and two tops which I think makes a really great capsule wardrobe and hopefully I won't buy 
I'm not going to say I won't buy anything outside of that, but hopefully I won't buy too much out of that. I'm just going to be realistic because I know I'll be tempted by something. But my plan is really to just stick with this because I really am trying to get away from like basically overbuying and being like this massive consumer of just so much clothing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I'll see you in my next one. Actually, I wanted to say, so what I've been thinking is to do a small series of videos on kind of how I've been inspired by Montessori ideas to set up um, little sections for Riley around the house that are really accessible for her. Um, so she's got like a little Montessori inspired working kitchen area that's, you know, scaled for her as well as, um, I actually don't have it set up anymore, but basically to get her interested in brushing her teeth because she was really, really against it for a long time, I had set up um, a little tooth brushing station for her that was like very Montessori friendly and actually her bedroom is very Montessori inspired. I say inspired because I don't follow Montessori methods um, really at all, but I am very inspired by it. So I thought that could be fun to share with you guys. Also if you have any requests for videos, go ahead and leave that down in the comments and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.